What's up you guys? It's Michelle here. Thanks for joining me today and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to do a few pages in my commonplace book slash junk journal. It's kind of just like a catch-all for creative journaling. And I'm going to use these two new sticker books that are available on Wrong Wrong's website. So stay tuned if you want to check it out. <music> just a bullet journal like a dot grid bullet journal that I got on Amazon and I'll be sure and link it in the description and then a few things about these sticker books these are not wrong wrongs artwork but they are available on her website and there is a limited supply and I'll do just a really quick flip through of them but one more thing they are not pre-cut so you'll you would have to cut them out individually or tear them or however you want to do that but they do cut really easily just like with a like my detail knife here, you can just do it lightly like that because they're like a washi material and it doesn't cut through as long as you don't press, press down hard. I'll be sure to put my affiliate link in the description and I always appreciate your support when you shop through that link at no extra cost to you. But this one is called the Schubert Rose Vintage Sticker Book and this one is called Dawn Videotape Vintage Sticker Book. So that was the Schubert Rose. It's more like vintage, um, scrapbooky, junk journaling, antique looking botanical and then the dawn videotape one is a little bit more modern and even though it does have a vintage vibe also it's got it's divided into colors so we've got like a black and white a purple then a blue green like a light, lighter green and then we go into the darker green and like a caramel color yellow orange red and then pink isn't that so fun i love these and i think if you like junk journaling and scrapbooking that they would be a super fun addition to your collection but this is my commonplace book this is just a bullet journal i got on amazon and up a while back i haven't done a whole lot in it but i do want to start using it, it again so those were the last couple of pages. That one's really just a junk journal spread. There's not much room for actual journaling. This one I made a little pocket for here. But I want to make a couple of pages using these two fun books. And I'll be sure and link my original video where I set up my commonplace journal, kind of talking about what different things people keep in them and kind of what they are. I'll link that video if you didn't see it. It was a while back, but I'll have that in the description. I also printed out, I just searched on Google a vintage notebook paper, and I printed out just several shades of weathered looking paper that I thought I'd use with these stickers and just printed them on a regular regular size printer paper. I did resize them using the print to size app so they were all on an eight and a half by eleven sheet of printer paper. I've been using mine mostly for quotes but I do want to add some different things in here like uh, different memories or anything I want to jot down which is basically what a commonplace journal is. So I'm just gonna get them set up so they're ready to go whenever I do wanna use it. And I think the first pay, the first book I wanna use is this one. Oh, I love the cats. But another way to use them, and I think I might show you that first, something that would be quick and easy. Let's do like this entire sheet. And it is a, it's almost like a washi kind of, kind of material. So it will tear really easily. So I'm gonna use this and put it in the corners and just tear it. So that's what I want to do for this corner. Oh, I like that a lot. And 
And of course you can use these stickers in your planner too. I just thought this would be fun since I haven't done anything in this in a long time or in a while. So that one there, and then I'm gonna use just in the opposite corner, this right here. Oh, that looks so cute. So that's one way you can use it if you don't, just don't have time to cut apart the stickers or don't wanna worry with it sometimes. But there are so many cute images in here. I do think I wanna, I don't want that to look quite so big right there. I'm gonna kinda of just cut it with my X-Acto knife and see what that looks like. Okay. There we go, and then I'm gonna use some of these papers that I printed here. I think I'll tear this one. I think I'll actually tear the bottom too. And make two of these. Okay, and then what is another one I could do? I'm gonna do that to this too. So that'll give me some places to write over there. Okay, so like this one looks like some eucalyptus and like a little piece of tape. So I'm gonna put that right there. Oh, that's cute. Okay, and these butterfly matches, those are so pretty. Then I like this quote that says, smile you're designed to. So I'm gonna use that to sort of anchor that there. This is so much fun. this tape instead of those that other sticker I had and like this postage stamp I think that would be cute layered on there so this is like looks like a ticket stub or a label or something Just want to layer that there. Okay, and here's a little spool of green thread. I'm going to layer that there. Oh, I think that's looking so cute. I'm going to just tape this down with some tape runner. Now I have places to journal or write down a couple of little things I wanna note. And I'm gonna put that little sweet word right there. Okay, and over on this side, I think I wanna make a little collage. I'm gonna get this whatever. I'm gonna just try it using my detail knife. Cause it won't, if you don't press down hard, it's not gonna cut through because this is like a washi material, like I said. Yeah, that works great. I wanna make a little collage. So I'm gonna just cut a few things out first before I place them. 
So like there's these little frames that you can actually write in. I like this little torn looking piece of grid washi tape. Yeah, they cut it really easily right off of this sheet. Okay, let's put that butterfly there, and we'll do that one there. I'll probably just add things as I go. I, this page is sort of done, but I know I'll add some more things to it. And there's all these ticket looking things. I love these. I'm gonna take this one out that says good for one glass of soda water. And I love this quote that says, be kind, smile often. So I want to get this really big butterfly. I think that's so pretty. I'm going to put the big butterfly right there. And then let's do the little dragonfly there. Then I cut out all of these on just different pages in here. I think I want to create a little collage. that there and then this word that I cut out that says genius and that olive green and then this little sign is cute it says do not overstay your welcome it's just full of like little funny quotes and different sayings let's also do be kind work hard stay humble smile often over here I think I might move this butterfly. Yeah, I'm just gonna have it flying onto the page like that. Let's do that one there and a smaller one like this.
I'm going to put this over here that says I speak fluent sarcasm. And that key there. And tear the rest of this and use this over here. I'm going to lift up this butterfly wing and let it rest on there. Maybe I should do this one this way. That little one there and this little one right up here. And then we'll do that one just like it right above it. That's just a fun little collage. And then I'm going to also use this lady I cut out wearing the green dress. And it kind of looks like a piece of tape there. Here I'm going to use this piece of, it looks like a piece of torn washi tape. got one more of these little frames I want to use that there and let's do whatever down here this is y'all I'm having so much fun and then I've got one more of these right here I'm gonna do here and find something little to fit right there We'll just use this little XX right there. That fills in perfectly. I think that is so cute. Okay, let's put this leaf right here. Put the rest of it right here. Okay, and I want something slender there. So something like this little newspaper article or ad that says breakfast and tea china. Oh, I love that quote that says, to be honest, I'm just winging it live, motherhood, my eyeliner, everything. It's so cute. Perfect. So that's those two pages, and I'm having so much fun, y'all. Let's go ahead and do two more, or one more set. Let's do pink and, like, pink and black. There's this one of Audrey Hepburn in here in Breakfast at Tiffany's that I know I want to use right here. Do some more of these papers that I printed. So let's put this one here. Okay, so also let's do, oh, that Volkswagen bug is so cute. There's some pearls or like that ribbon is cute. Let me find the pearls. Yes, right here. OK, 
Okay, we'll do the pearls there. And, okay, and I'm just gonna put that little piece of washi right there that I cut out of here. And let's see. I love this. It says, Princess Parking Only. All others will be towed. T-O-A-D instead of T-O-W-E-D. Isn't that funny? I'm going to probably use that, but I, I want to use this stick, this stamp too. Layered onto that. And then back to these balloons. Oh, it's cute. Oh, this bow is so pretty. Let's use the bow on the balloons. I think I'll use also this movie camera. Right over here. And I saw a quote I wanted to use, or it looked like some writing. This. like a letter to someone. I think it says, Dear Cousin. I can't receive something. I can't really make all of it out. So I want this to be right beside this. Okay, let's go ahead and do this film strip also. And this reeling in style. Because that all kind of goes together. Maybe even that diamond. And I'm not sure about that. I'll put it there though. Okay, we'll do reeling in style right here. Okay, I'm really liking that. Okay, just a little bit of this. Okay, let's do that there. Feather there. Let's do this ticket to happiness. These flowers, this bouquet right here. That's beautiful. I think I'd like the flowers here instead of these balloons. Yeah, that just goes better to me. And let's move a feather right there. But I'll save those balloons. I'll use that stamp up here by the Ticket to Happiness. Okay, so I wanna cut out some more straight, like almost like tape or 
some some straight elements like this and I don't know if I want this one or not but I'll go ahead and cut it okay something to go straight across here And I have this one. I think when I need something pink down here, it's too black and white over here. Choose those little cards there. And the rest of them just right there. Oh, I want to use princess parking only. here. And this pink cassette. I turned off the camera to go print another piece of paper, but I went ahead and tore that, put it here, and added this one sticker that's a ribbon in three different places. And now I have a pink paper clip. We'll do that there. And now I just want to fill this up with all kinds of fun stuff that kind of go with the princess parking only quote. So cutting out this little present. Maybe I need to separate the pink with this little black cat. <laughs> so cute. Okay, and then something that would fit in here. How about this donut that I cut out earlier? Let's do the cassette. And then I kind of like this black and white photo of two people shaking hands. Do that right let's do that right here this uh, this quote is just so random it says when she left her home she had slippers on but they were much too large for her I think I'll do that it's kind of in typewriter font Now I want to sprinkle around some of these little pearls I cut out. I don't think I want to keep this on there. Right here. I think I kind of want it to look like things are scattered down the page for the rest of it. So that, and then, then that. And then this rose kind of falling.
is a little pinned up note. More pearls, those are so cute. Then another rose falling. I think we'll have a little bit of pearl action over here too. There's a little button. Feather. And I'm going to layer this little post it note here. There's another feather. Oh, here's another earring. little donut here. We're about to finish up with this one. And let's put this little piece of tape holding that one on. much done. It's just kind of whimsical and fun and girly. I'm going to put this ice cream cone here and that's going to be all I'm going to add to that one. So this one's all done, ready for me to write a few things in here. And then this was the first one. I'd love it if you let me know in the comments which sheet you like the best, the green or the pink. But thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I had so much fun. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I'd also love it if you considered subscribing and turning on notifications. And I can't wait to see you in the next video. Bye!